Hi everyone. In this video I'm going to give a demonstration of the Mead SEM package which can be used in Stata when you are testing for mediation. So before I get started I do want to note a couple of things. First I would like to give a shout out to Greg Goodman at the University of Arizona. Uh, he is the person that shared uh, information about this package with me and uh, after spending a couple of days of reading and uh, testing out the package uh, this definitely seemed like something that would be of general interest to Stata users and uh, so again thank you uh, Greg for sharing that information with me second underneath the video description you will find uh, several links the first link will be to the data file that I'm using in this presentation so you can download the data to follow along the second link will be to a do file that contains the commands that I will be uh, reviewing in this video. And then uh, the last file will be to a PowerPoint that will contain some additional details that you might find of use. So let's uh, just kind of talk through a little overview of the Mead SEM package and then we will uh, begin running some analyses. So the Mead SEM package is designed for testing mediation with models that can involve either uh, manifest variables or latent variables and it is used in conjunction with the SEM command in Stata. So the package basically is set up to facilitate decision making regarding mediation by providing output that references two different strategies for testing mediation. So uh, the first strategy is invoked just as a default and it involves sort of a modification of the Baron and Kinney approach um, and it relies on the use of the Sobel test to test indirect effects. The uh, second approach is invoked by using the ZLC option and uh, basically with that particular approach uh, it follows uh, the strategy described by Zhao et al. from 2010 and it's going to uh, utilize a Monte Carlo uh, resampling based approach to generate test results for the indirect effect. And one of the nice a uh, aspects of this particular uh, package is that the output that you generate will include both the test result for the uh, indirect effect as well as a decision sequence based on the strategies uh, that I was noting above. You can also generate possible effect sizes to judge the magnitude of the indirect effect. Uh, the first one involves a ratio of the indirect to total effect and the second one involves a ratio of the indirect effect to the direct effect. So briefly before I open up uh, Stata and begin running our analysis uh, or analyses, let's uh, first consider the, our, our example. So I actually have two examples um, in the PowerPoint and we're going to be reviewing these uh, in this video presentation. So right here you see a diagram of uh, involving three uh, observed variables and uh, this is our example one and basically we have mastery goals which is serving as the X variable um, we have interest which is um, serving as a mediator and then we have achieve which is serving as the dependent variable and you'll notice that we have three single-headed arrows in this diagram we have path A, path B, and path C prime which is given right here and so those paths reflect proposed direct effects within the model so um, in addition to testing each of the, in, the uh, direct effects, you'll also want to test the, in, the indirect effect of mastery on achievement. And we do that by computing uh, the indirect effect as a product of the path coefficients for A and B, and then um, it's effectively uh, performing the test on that indirect effect with that test coming in the form of either a Sobel test or um, utilizing some type of resampling technique to obtain um, a confidence interval. So now I've opened up uh, the Stata program and the data is already imported. Really quickly, that diagram that I uh, that you saw uh, just a second ago, that was actually generated using the graphical user interface in Stata. Uh, I'm actually going to be walking through commands uh, throughout, so we're not going to be using the, the diagram, but rather I just incorporated that to uh, give you a visualization of that first uh, model. So. In Stata, I'm going to go ahead and open up the uh, a do file editor or the do file editor by clicking on uh, the do file icon. And uh, what we'll do now is uh, start typing in our code. 
and you should be aware that um, in order to utilize a package uh, it needs to be installed uh, to Stata so uh, if you have not already done so we're going to go ahead and do that here so in the, our do file editor I've typed in SSC then install and then mead SEM so if you highlight this and you click on the execute selection button you can see that it would install uh, the package um, I had already had it installed so it's just basically saying that uh, all files already exist and are up to date so next what we will do is um, uh, build our model using the SEM command so we're going to type in SEM and then we will type in the name of our dependent variable the Y variable achieve followed by an arrow which is a less than sign followed by a hyphen and then we will type in the names of our X and M variables so we're going to type in interest and we're going to type in mastery so uh, and then followed by an in parenthesis next we will type in uh, start a new parenthesis and type in the name of our mediator interest um, and then an arrow followed by mastery right here uh, I'll add a comma and then no caps latent right here and then we will highlight all of this and run it so we'll execute selection and so now we get uh, the basic uh, SEM output that contains the uh, path coefficients, um, standard errors, z values, and so forth. So looking at this, you can see these are the unstandardized path coefficients in this column. Uh, we have our standard uh, errors that are given, z values, p values, and confidence intervals. So if we look at the unstandardized path coefficient for path A, uh, that's uh, this right here, it's 0.77. Um, and we see it's positive and stat statistically significant. So path A is uh, statistically significant. Then we'll, we're, with respect to path B, we'll look at the effect of interest on achievement right here. So there's the path coefficient and significance level. So we see that path B is positive and statistically significant. And then path C prime is reflected right here with mastery predicting achievement so we have a positive and statistically significant direct effect of mastery on achievement so now that we've run our analysis using the SEM command now we can use the mead SEM uh, option or command so going back into our do file editor I'll go ahead and uh, have that typed in so you can see now we have mead SEM followed by a comma then we have INDEP and inside the parenthesis we have mastery. Then we have MEAD, so MED, followed by in the parenthesis the name of the mediator in our data set. And then we have uh, DEP for the dependent variable and that name right there. You'll notice that right here I've got MC reps and 500 inside the parenthesis. And basically that's uh, referring to the number of replications using a Monte Carlo simulation. Then the last two uh, uh, options that are given, the RIT and RID, can be used to generate those effect size measures I was telling you about. So I'm going to highlight all of this and click on execute selection. So now we get our output. And so this is going to be the default output that I was referencing earlier. So you'll notice as we're looking at this, um, we have sort of the step one, step two, step three uh, uh, associated with the Barron and Kinney approach. And then you'll see it references the Sobel's test right here. And so this is that uh, sort of decision sequence I was telling you about. And you'll notice down here, it says that as step one, step two, and step three, as well as Sobel's test above, uh, you know we have statistical significance so the mediation is partial so it's actually giving you it's saying not only that there's mediation but it's giving you uh, a framework for uh, deciding whether the mediation might be full or partial so if you're reporting on your results uh, using this particular approach then you would be using the results from this column here uh, reflecting the Sobel test so the indirect effect right here is just computed as a product of paths A and B and you'll see that we have uh, you have a Z test option right here so um, 
so you can see that we have a p-value that's given and, and we have statistical significance or you could use a confidence interval based approach using the uh, confidence interval is, that's provided here basically if zero which would be considered the null if it falls between the lower and the upper bound you would infer that the indirect effect in the population is uh, not statistically significant whereas if zero falls outside the lower and the upper bound you would infer that the population uh, indirect effect is non-zero. So basically uh, again we're going to infer that the population indirect effect is non-zero. Down here you'll notice that we have the RIT and uh, it says indirect effect uh, the ratio of the indirect effect to the total effect. So there's our effect size that's given is 0 .310 uh, and that would mean that about 31% of the ver of the effect of mastery goals on achieve is mediated by interest. And when they're referring to the effect right here, we're talking about the total effect. So it's a ratio, again, of the indirect to total effect. The RID that you see right here is a ratio of the indirect effect to the direct effect. And so this is um, the value that's computed right here. So again, they give you a little uh, description. So just saying that the that, that is, the mediated effect is about 0.4 times as large as the direct effect of mastery on achieve. So that's a pretty cool uh, aspect of this, um, of this uh, package. Okay, so now what, we'll, what we will do is invoke the uh, ELC, uh, ZLC option. So we'll go back in here and uh, just add on uh, Z. LC right there to get that second strategy that I was telling you about. So I'm going to highlight this and run it. And so now you can see that in addition to the default information, now we have uh, information related to that second strategy. So, and that is uh, refer refer referencing Zao et al. from 2010. So you'll notice it says step one and it's got achieve to mastery it's got the x to y so this is reflecting that c prime path and this is the regression slope and the p-value from our sem output and the significance test in this case is uh, going to involve the monte carlo approach so this is a um, a resampling approach if you will and uh, so we're going to be referencing the Monte Carlo output so this is the indirect effect you again have a uh, the test results that are given here and you also have uh, the option of referencing the confidence interval that is provided below the remaining uh, output in terms of RIT and RID in this case is going to be exactly the same as what we had uh, seen before Okay, now let's consider a second example. So I'm actually breaking this out into example 2A and 2B uh, for a reason. So in this particular example, we have uh, the effect of mastery and performance goals um, on achievement flowing through two mediators. So we have parallel mediation being modeled in this case. And um, in this uh, particular model, when I, if I run this using SEM, it'll run fine. But let's say that I want to test the specific indirect effect of mastery on achievement through interest. Well, if I try to do that using the approach in, uh, with this um, package, uh, it'll break down. And the reason why is because it requires a direct effect of mastery on achievement. So you'll see right here that I did not add that path and I'll show you how it breaks down in a second. So the first uh, demonstration will involve not including the path and, and then the second one will look like this where we do involve that path. So going back into our do file editor I will go ahead and add in uh, the SEM with that uh, path spe uh, with the uh, specification of that second path model the 2A so you'll notice right here in this first um, inside this first set of parentheses we've got achieve regressed onto anxiety and interest and then we have anxiety regressed onto mastery and performance goals and then we have interest regressed onto mastery and performance goals so I can run this analysis just fine it doesn't there there are no problems with that uh, when we're using the SEM command but now let's see what happens when I try to test that specific indirect effect 
and uh, basically I can just take uh, this right up here since that's that is the same effect that we were basically testing in the previous model so uh, we'll just uh, use our meet SEM command so again the independent variable being mastery the mediator interest and dependent variable achieve so now when I uh, run this analysis you'll see that it says achieve colon mastery not found and it's basically saying it, it's not finding that uh, direct effect that C prime that I was mentioning uh, you'll notice that you still get um, you know the um, Sobel and Monte Carlo these are basically just still testing that indirect effect but all that other information about um, you know using the strategy that was described by those uh, by those sets of authors um, that's not given nor is um, the RID uh, RIT um, uh, effect size measures that were um, noted earlier so if we respecify that uh, model we'll, so we'll rerun the model SCM with our SEM command and add in mastery right here so that it provides a direct effect of mastery on achieve um, you know again we'll get our output as usual so there's no problem with that but then we can use our uh, mediation um, our meet SEM uh, command right here and it should work so I'll highlight that paste it in and uh, rerun it and so now we get our uh, test results so we not only get our uh, indirect effect and test results but we also get the strategies that were laid out uh, by by those two different approaches and then we also get our effect size measures and so that does highlight a limitation of the Mead SEM uh, package in its current form and that is that if you want to um, utilize these strategies and utilize the, the package to test in um, for mediation um, if your path model does not include a path from X to Y so to speak to get that C prime path then it's going to force you to respecify that path your path model uh, before you can generate these results so the it's possible then that the original model that you're testing may not be the same as the model that is required um, to use the Mead SEM program so that is a limitation of this um, particular package okay so that uh, concludes this video presentation related to the Mead SEM package I appreciate you watching.